False flag alert. Pay attention. <clears throat> Thank you. Guess who? <laughs> Guess who? Put the comment down below. It's really, really good eye. Really good eye. Uh, I don't think uh, I'm going to talk about this false flag, but <clears throat> in itself, I don't think it's the false flag. I think it's something that covers the false flag because I've always, um, I've always said that the, a run on the banks uh, would be it, the banks are very vulnerable. The U.S. You know, the, the banking system is extremely vul uh, vulnerable because of the, uh, <clears throat> the lack of actual funds that they have to meet, uh, meet uh, deposits. So people that, if, if, if only 5% of the people that have money in a bank go to the bank and withdraw, the banks would, would, uh, would uh, freeze. There would be a, there would be a uh, so it's called a run on the bank. So yesterday, today, uh, USA Today, let me, read the, let me read it first and then you, you decide. <clears throat> I've already decided. I know what it is. So banks on alert, FBI, banks on alert from FBI about potential unlimited ATM heist worth millions. All right. <laughs> listen, re listen to this. This is USA Today headline. Boom. Down below it was yesterday. Right. And we'll see if it if the story starts to proliferate out into other uh, outlets. But for now, this is a USA Today headline. The Federal Bureau of Investigation has warned banks in the U.S. of an ongoing impending cybercrime, a heist call an, called an ATM cashout, in which thieves seek, seek to swap millions of dollars by using clone ATM cards for fraudulent withdrawals. This global organized effort could be instigated soon, the FBI told banks Friday. With cyber criminals attempting to amass millions of dollars within a few hours, according to the confidential, <laughs> confidential alert obtained by security researcher Brian Krebs. It's always a fucking secret, right? Why can't you just tell us? Why can't it's always a secret, right? The FBI has obtained unspecific reporting indicating cyber criminals this is this is high power what this is this is fantasy right right not that not the scheme but but the idea that the FBI releases through third parties and they can't tell anybody about anything the FBI has obtained unspecific reporting indicating cyber criminals are planning to con conduct a global automated teller machine cash out scheme in the coming days likely associated with an unknown card issuer breach and commonly referred to as unlimited operations in an unlimited operation cyber criminals deploy malware to obtain bank customer card information and network access in a way to execute massive atm thefts and fbi the fbi said what else is there the FBI, which could not <laughs> would not comment on the specific alert, said in a comment, the FBI routinely advises private in industry of various cyber threat indicators observed during the course of our investigations. This data is provided in order to help system administrators guard against the action of persistent cyber criminals. Okay. This is OK. So you could read it for yourself. It's down below. Um, and. This is uh, the, 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 look the, the, a run on the banks, right? If something goes wrong, say if the say if the market crashes, right? The stock markets crash, and or some other instance where people need to run to the bank and get money, right? That that you would create a run on the banks. Now there's all they also in this article, it also talks about um, that banking banking ATM machines are capped at a certain amount of money. For example, if you go to the ATM machine and try to pull out $1,000, it'll tell you no, because the cap is $760 at most banks. See, that's one measure to prevent the run on the money uh, on the banks. Now, is this story true? Are, 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 are there a bunch of hacks running around able to hack the ATM machines in the United States with all the camera devices and in a place like New York City where there's 35,000 NYPD running around? It's it's bullshit. It's a bullshit story. And what's the worst that they can, you know, foot soldiers, guys running around on foot attacking ATM machines for a few hundred dollars, right? It would take, you know, and, and the FBI doesn't know a thousand 
people organizing when a thousand criminals organize right to get a million dollars or 10 million or 100 million however many even if it's even if it's you know half a million i don't know how much it is what is it 13 million they got in india the the bottom line is that you don't think that the fbi would be able to infiltrate and break up a thousand idiots planning to heist to walk into ATM machines and pull out $750 a, a, at a time. Right? Is that ridiculous? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous when you analyze it, right? So this is this is clearly the lead up to a false flag. I I I, I will I will agree. I I will agree. I don't know what I don't think this in itself uh, pulling back. See, it's a rights grab. That's really what it is, right? Because the banks are vulnerable, right? FBI, government, everybody knows that the banks are vulnerable. So to remove those, completely remove it. You can't take out any money on the ATM, in the ATM machine. If you, if you take out more than, more than uh, I don't know, $20, that, the, that the, the ATM machine will freeze, right? So the big event happens, and then what happens? People run to the bank to get their money, right? And that's when you have a bank freeze. So... A, a move like this is is smart in terms of in it's not it's it's so deviant and and so fucked up but it it's it it makes perfect sense that you would want to get something in place to prevent a run on the banks right so we'll see we'll, we'll just keep following this story this is like this is like crackhead shit right this is where where the crackhead steals your wallet and then helps you try to find it Right? That that's what this is. Right? They point to India. The FBI gave banks several security recommendations to combat any potential threats. Consumers should remain vigilant. <laughs> Senior Vice President of Risk and Cybersecurity Policy at at the American Bankers Association. They should be signed up for fraudulent alerts on their account. Right? Big scare. Big big red flag. Right. In the United States, that that guys are gonna organize in a in a basement somewhere, and they're gonna they're gonna make cards with 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 the with the they're gonna hack into the pin numbers, and they're gonna get all this shit. And then the foot soldiers, they're gonna go out on foot to ATM machines across the country and steal a million dollars, or half a million, or ten million. I still don't know the number how much. <laughs> yeah, four. Okay, so in in India it was uh, thirteen million, and. Uh, it's millions of dollars, right? Two point four million. It's it's peanuts. It's peanuts. They spend that on a on a on a on an ad on on CNN. They give two million dollars to CNN uh, on a weekly basis. So this is a bullshit story. It's a rights grab, right? They wanna they wanna prevent you from getting. They wanna separate you from your money. Not only do they wanna tax you forty percent. Right? Is it making sense now? The oligarchy in action. Right, we are, we are, we are. Wow, we be, we're becoming a powerful, a powerful uh, community here. <laughs> I, I, I didn't find this. I, you, you guys found it. Right, so <sighs> troubled times, folks. Troubled times. Right, a run on the banks. Yeah. Now, what is the big event? What is the big event? It, it sounds like it's, it has something to do with money now. So you could, you should now look for. You know, stock market turbulence. Can can the banking industry wreak havoc on the on the stock market? <laughs> of course they can. Of course they are. They 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 hold. There's sixty percent of the. They hold sixty percent of the float. If they start hitting the hitting Apple with millions of shares of selling, they, they could drive any stock in the uh, on the board down. Right? Traders will run for the doors. Traders take their money, go home. When shit like that starts to happen, so can they sink the the stock markets? Yeah, can they? You know what? What what other more currency markets? Of course they can, of course they can, right? So, this is a good catch. Uh, my name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, reporter. While you're waiting, why don't you go to YouTube and and uh, pick up some stickers? I just got a bunch of these stickers. You're gonna love these fucking stickers. Look at this man. Pow! Peace out. Peace out.